Killington's most eligible dressed in tuxes and hit the auction block Sunday night. The benefit, tagged as the ultimate ladies' night out, proved once again how generous the Killington community is. Before the ladies filed in for a night of entertainment, the bachelors dined upstairs in the foundry before getting dressed up in tuxes and throwing all caution to the wind. For newcomer Mike Smith, a Green Mountain College student, junior varsity lacrosse coach, and all-around good guy, taking part in the event was a privilege. It means a lot to me to, to take part in the, the bachelor auction, to, to get fundraising for Vermont Adaptive. It's just a great program. Um, gives so much help to, uh, to their program out there and everything. Another bachelor known for his robust personality was up for bids for a second year. He says this event is proof that the Killington community supports its own. You know, like most events in Killington, this is a really good one. It means a lot to me because uh, we get to raise money for Vermont Adaptive, which is, a, which is a huge thing to get the people that can't unfortunately use their legs and stuff to ski and uh, get them on the slopes. And it, uh, it really looks like a really fun time for them. So it's good to support that and, uh, you know, give back to people that obviously can't do some of the things that we take for granted in doing every day. For Mike Smith, being asked to be part was an honor, but knowing Vermont Adaptive is what will benefit from his smile means even more. These things don't come around too often and you know going out there and putting yourself out there just for them is, it means a lot to me. I mean at the end of the day I'm going to feel really great about what I did here tonight and no matter how much I go for in money I'm going to be excited. Mike Smith brought in $575 to the auction that raised well over 10000 for Vermont Adaptive.